Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Obsidian Prince, a roguelike dungeon crawling strategy. Roguelike. <laughs> I think I said roguelike twice. Uh, new campaign. Let's get into it. It's got a very, like, very vibrant voxel style to it. It actually looks really like it's going to be really slick uh, from everything I've heard about it. Uh, welcome to my inn. You look like the type of person who'd love to go on adventures but don't know how. You're right. Can you teach me? Yes, I'll help with an in introduction by allowing you to help me with that tiny rat infestation I conveniently have in my basement. Great. I'll deal with those rats. Fantastic. While you're down there, could you investigate what happened to the other ventures I sent down there to inspect the issue? Sure thing, pun master. <laughs> even in the title, even inside the title, the basics. Okay, WASD, we can right click, move around the camera, click the arrows to move. Your armor, your health, the numbers to the left is your base attack and move attack damage. Base attack and move attack. Gotcha. Uh, they use energy. A couple of tips. When a skill is selected, right click to deselect to return to move mode. They are, the square underneath the arrows indicate you can move attack. Reach a treasure before tile or a treasure tile before the countdown hits zero. Have fun. All right. Rat Knight, Rat Knight Malek, admiring Malek the wannabe, Slime Spitter Arthur, Big Arthur the game designer. All right, I'm with it already. So we can jump to either get to any of those locations. I guess uses up a good deal of energy. We can charge charge through i can only imagine we do damage probably uh probably a move attack damage i would guess round strike uh okay take a strike or strike and then take a step back or chakram throw your chakram at an opponent catch it as it returns bounce once i mean let's i want to see what charge does so we did nine so does he have some kind of armor or no, the damage underneath. So, I guess move attack. Okay. So, we can attack just by left clicking. I gotcha. I see. So, we can just pop them that, that way. I thought that maybe that was like a catch-all. Like, all attacks that dam do damage through moving or all attacks that through, uh, deal damage through the typical means. But, no. All right. Inside the tutorial. So what is this now? Inspirations. Inspirations temporarily change your skills, which may help your hero. They are cards that sit in a deck, and each turn you draw three of them. They are activated passively. In this example, the inspiration is triggered on base attack. This, okay, yeah, is triggered on base attack and causes your target to become stunned. Heroes pick a new inspiration every time they level up. In early access, we're adding multiple ways to alter your hero's inspiration deck. Okay. On on base attack, stun enemy. On base attack, plus one stacks. Okay. So we could, like... We could charge through there. Applies a stun and a knockback on anyone else. On anyone standing on the final tile. Sure. This is... This feels risky. On base attack, on kill, stacks, plus five damage... On base attack, on base attack. Okay, so he's got six, you got seven. Ranged gets close. Melee, no statuses. I don't know who we're going to want to kill here, but I'll go for you. Oh, plus five damage. We we just did a, an extra attack there. Does So does our strike hit multiple creatures by us? Seems like it might be the case. Shiny. So there's the key. There's what I can only assume is the boss fight. Okay. Backstories. Just like inspirations are cards that sit in a deck. Each new room you draw five and pick three to keep. The effect with of the backstories you pick will be active for the entire room. Okay, so it doesn't shuffle each turn. You build your hero's backstory. It keeps saying heroes plural, so I wonder if we can have more than one character in a fight. Uh, through training them or completing challenges and feats throughout the game. For instance, when you complete a dungeon, you get to pick between three new cards... For your hero's backstory deck. Okay, so we get to select three on round strike. Round strike use. I don't remember which one that is. Maybe this one? 
Standard move. After a standard move, plus three damage until your next turn. Potent, plus one damage on base attack. I mean, be numbered. Round strike costs two less energy to use. Sure. And let's go for the double potent. So which one's round strike? Okay. Energy costs one. Gotcha, gotcha. So we can charge. We could charge up there again, I guess. We could jump. Make a large leap. So we have seven energies. That is that right? So we got an actual straight up kill there. On base attack, stun an enemy. I mean, we're probably going to kill. We know we did not kill, but you should be stunned. Is that why they didn't attack me? Maybe. Round strike. Strike all surrounding opponents. There we go. So we lost a little bit of armor. My, my guess, if I were to take a shot in the dark, I would assume that the armor comes back every fight. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Agility. Okay, the hero will become able to move quickly and easily. And, okay, and how do we see each individual gem to find out what leveling this skill will do? Wow, this is, there's a lot of depth here. Holy mole. Batteries store energy in their body that they will vibrate with potency, dishing out extra damage in a frenzy days. Don't feed them caffeine. Gain five max energy. Wow. By charging into battle, you may generate energy into the fray. On damage taken, gain an energy. Adds two physical damage to all attacks. Strunk! <laughs> it's strunk! Fine, I'm I'm picking strunk. Resolve. Wow, okay. So this is one of the ones that we can get in our hand every turn. Plus one jump range. On move or on move attack, generate two armor. That actually sounds really useful. Add, uh, add an attack. On repost use, add an attack and grab the enemy back with you. Oh. On shockroom use, the shockroom explodes at its initial impact. This is This game is crazy. Oh my god. Just seeing this stuff, uh, I'm getting it now. Like, I was like, oh, this seems a little too simple. And then they're like, by the way, this is what inspirations are. I'm like, ah, I get it. I, my interest is peaked. And then they're like, the backstories. I'm like, aha, I'm very, I'm very peaked in my interest. And then the talent tree. And I'm like, okay, this is a goatee. Hello. And these, these, seeing how complex these can get is really exciting for me. I, I really like that. I'm going to go with Resolve. It seems like a good call. Seeing how complex those can get, and they're not just like all of them are just plus one damage, I really, really like that. Three backstories. On pick, heal two. Oh, okay. On multiple enemies, take damage. I don't know if there are multiple enemies. On pick, restore two armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to die. Yeah, it kind of just looks like there's only one enemy. And he's going to move up there. Oh, shoot. It's a box of rats. Rat. <laughs> Rat Ness Jackson. Jackson the dearly departed. Rat Tilda. Lumberjack Tilda the recycler. Hunter Bo Bot Jackson the dearly departed. Oh, uh, no. I was trying to see you. Blue eyed Med Medina who needs a bathroom. All right. So we should probably, like, do some jumping. Is this spikes or is this just gravel? That's just gravel. Come to me! Alright, so bash. I mean, we should be able to one-shot. Probably should have gone for the AoE. How much energy does that take? It doesn't. It restores energy. More or less. Okay. Okay. On move, on move attack, armor two. Is that a move attack, technically? I thought that maybe. Some games, like a diagonal, is, um, is, it requires kind of movement. All right. I mean, what, what, what did we, what else would we do? Strike and then take a step back. I feel like I don't need to. Chakram, there's no point to. Now we might as well do the round strike. Clean! Clean and easy! 
This is this is slick. Well done, adventurer. I'm quite happy that all those pesky rats are gone. Now all my cheese is safe, and you saved those apprentice adventurers too. They could really use some training, eh? Oh, wait. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, if you'll... Something popped up on my other monitor. I got scared. Eh, I thought I stopped my recording. If you pick up one at your pro... Oh, wait. They could really be use some training, eh? If you'll pick one to be your protege, I'll give them some basic training here at the end. Oh? Silverarm the Butcher. Food giraffe fish sushi like our mom made it. Blood type thin, star sign kittens, backstory. <laughs> Considers the river a holy spot. Born in the fabulous city, enjoys CRT monitors. Uh. Let's go with Queen, Queen Griffin. Between zero and death. Good. Food idiot sandwich. Blood type bloody. Star sign don't believe in that stuff. Simply can't handle welcoming. Simply can't help, help handle welcoming confused eco-friendly people at the city. So these are obviously like randomly generated. But I'm actually really into that. Blushing sacrifice. 54. We should probably look at their backstories and stuff instead of actually... Queen Griffin, idiot sandwich, though. I mean, at the same time. Cannot find the outer space. Destroyer of the secret dark yellow place. <laughs> Enjoy sitting on scissors. Well, okay, I gotta be honest. If they gain... Th okay, also, gold is just called glod. I'm with it. Uh, if we have somebody who enjoys sitting on scissors, I feel like that's somebody that, like... They gotta be pretty tough, right? I know I said I should look at the backstories, but I just... I saw that. You chose a fine one. Now, gently, gently click on the inn and then select your trainee and begin training there. Where is the inn? Is this... I'm assuming this is the inn. Blushing Sacrifice. I shall train you. While your apprentice is training, you should go explore a bit. Talk to the guards. They may have interesting info. Yay, I love small talk. Careful out there. Bandits have been known to lay an ambush on the road ahead. I'm not scared of bandits. Okay, so that's like a quest. Bandit ambush. As you travel down the road away from a town gang, a bandit jump out and ambush you. Oh my god. Adventurer Bob. Oh, so that was my character. I am Adventurer Bob. Let's do it. Okay, this is this is pretty slick. This is pretty slick. Dusty Peak of Unfairness? Is that what it was? On multiple enemies take damage. Uh, if more than one enemy takes damage this turn, adds 0.1 damage. Buff less until the end of the f of floor. Okay. We could try and set that up. These other ones are irrelevant. We don't we're not missing any armor. We can just try to set that up. Multiple on multiple enemies take damage. So we do, that's just like with two. All right, I'm willing to take a hit. I'm doing it. No, he just died randomly. Peace activist Maida, who did not want to support. <laughs> ah, gotcha. So is that a move attack? That's a move attack. Okay, so we can move aside them and we will just automatically attack. Gotcha. Okay, well, that was very easy. By, by short, you weren't kidding. I guess we really did not need to set up our strength for future floors. Uh, your trainee... Blushing sacrifices gain runt of the litter by training at the end. On five or more enemies, gain plus three damage. That's pretty cool. Could certainly be useful. Are you still training there? Trained backstories. Okay. Can we put somebody else there? Oop. Sure. Okay, we probably could, I would imagine. What? <laughs> what the hell is this? What am I doing? What? New <laughs> grass building plot? 
there's so much going on here. Chakra maker. Okay, well, this is all stuff for the future, but wow, that depth certainly is there. We can build actual buildings there, okay. So we're going to continue talking to the guards. I thought the innkeeper told you to get materials to build a class training facility. Yes, yes. But of course, of course. I thought you, you're probably right. Oh my god. Oh my heavens, oh my man. Oops. Try not to actually click and zoom in on that stuff. Bandit camp. Seems to be plenty of stolen wood lying around this camp. Let's go! So we probably could take out the other hero. If we took them out of the inn. But we're just training them up for now. Mine of the Fuel. Okay. Momentum plus three damage until your next turn. After standard move. On pick heal. Set. On charge use, set charge path on fire. I mean, that sounds pretty fun. We can also see, does charge count as... It does? Okay. Does it count as movement? Do we do big, big boy damage? I'm not seeing... I mean, like, if we one shot here, we did 13 damage. I feel like... No, we were supposed to do 14 there. I feel like we didn't get the buff for that movement there then. Okay. Come here. Yeah, you got 12. That should be a one shot. We did 24 damage to them. You have some rats going for you. On move, on attack, generate two armor. I mean, it's irrelevant for right now. So can we charge through all of them? We can. And then, oh! Oh, that's right. That's for the entire room. That's crazy. So we can strike and then take a step back. Go, my rats! And we can't... I assume we can't charge. Okay. So just standing and doing a basic attack regenerates our energy there. Nice and easy. Cute cumber. It blushes when you look at it. Okay. Two, and also two glod. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, move away after round striking. Gain two energy. Sure. Restore four armor. Sure. I guess that's a ranger, so we didn't need to go for that. Was it 12, 15? On base attack, we could stun, or we could try and go for the round strike. Let's get the stun. And then we round strike for the KO there. Okay, so we generate a little bit more armor there. Good stuff. This is this is really slick. This is really, really slick. When an enemy dies, there's a 5% chance of gaining one armor per stack of flex. How do we get more stacks of flex? I see. Strong headed on damage taken. Gain an energy. I do like that. For every percentage missing health add a damage doesn't seem nearly as good as just getting strong huh fire 30% chance to set a tile on fire or s on skill or attack use okay does not work on fire resistant enemies 30 60 wow 10 max health every 5 turns you add damage to your attacks and skills counting strikes is only applied when you personally damage when you personally do damage to an opponent. Okay, so not like fire. Got ya. Chance to crit. If you have armor when attack, return one damage. Gain five in. You know what? Let's go for five max energy. Sure. Can we skip this? Like, theoretically. It does not look like we have the option to skip it. But I think we could, like, remove something in the future. Stun everyone you charge through sounds really cool. 50% chance to do double damage, though? That sounds really fun. That's a really high percentage. For a for, for such a powerful ability. 50%? I love seeing this uh, world like grow up from the bottom, too. Uh, I have a sneaking suspicion we're almost done here. I'll get the two armor back. So I don't know if I care about getting, like, max 
or the, the, the max damage up for the fights ahead, because I don't know if there are any. Ah, you fool. Okay, so we can charge through here. You a ranged unit? You are not. We can't pass or anything, right? Like, we can, but you generate zero energy by waiting. For each enemy within range two, gain one energy. Okay. No, it's just gain. I like that you, it's, it's nice to have a game where you, yeah, like you gain energy by actually just doing your basic attack. Um, what? Did we just lockpick it? What is, we have, we just got a hand. Okay, one glod and a hand. Bandit, mercenary Ali, who is scared who is scared of you is the most dangerous enemy. That is not very good for uh, for the old bandits. If that's the best the best you have is somebody who's scared of me. Schematic for an archery range. Wood, glad. You can change the difficulty whenever you're on the campaign overworld inside the main menu, which you can find in the top right. Once you feel that you've mastered the mechanics of the Obsidian Prince, I always want to say the you become more familiar, we could recommend you play on veteran difficulty. Endless mode is always played on veteran difficulty. Okay. Do we have the stuff for the archery camp? Archery range. We need three stone and eight more glod. You, your trainee, blushing sacrifices gain run to the litter. Again? Wow, they're like really good at fighting lots of enemies. But that's about it. So, okay, we would go over there. What's this? This is our equipment. This is our trainees. This is what? Like our, our general inventory. Gotcha. And that is, and that, is the, that is the settings. Gotcha. All right. Okay. I mean, I kind of want to uh, take you out of here. Did I do it? No? There we go. I can't put the other character in. So if I have them out now, I should be able to... Oh, my. We should be able to use them, right? No. So when does a trainee become a hero, eh? I cannot go back. I have to, I have to select there. Probably after they go to, like, the archery school is my guess. That would make sense. So we have to get the equipment to get the, uh, to, to build that. All right, all right. That, that makes sense. So then they would become an archer. From a trainee to an archer, They're, we're slowly getting them their base equipment, basically, or their base cards. I get ya. Very neat, very neat, very neat, very neat. Round strike costs to us energy. Sure. See if we can get the archers to... Uh, I was hoping we could get them to line up. Cleave. Nah. Still nah. Is this a fox man? Pull, pull banded ivy. One of these days. There we go. You fool. You fool well. Oh. Still. You are still a fool. I feel like charging through is the good idea there. Aw, oh, beans. If we do this, will we move attack? We do. Cool. Whoop indeed. Is it? You stuff your pockets with stone, then run off. Okay, we got everything we need. Uh, you run off before the rest of the bandit gang returns home. Schematics for barracks. Six stone, 21 glod. That's... A ridiculous amount of money? You've earned enough materials to build your first building. Click on a building plot. Mark with a hammer to find out what you can build. There's other tiers of building plots. Letting you build more advanced buildings. I see. On pick, gain 20 glod. 
<gasps> yeah, they've gained enough to, to actually go into class training. Warriors or Rangers. I have a sneaky suspicion our main hero is a warrior. So let's go with that. Recruits learn fast. After three days, they've already learned enough to pick what class. Okay, we would have just learned what, what it was if we just waited just a little bit. It's a good idea to look through their backstories before you make the choice, as certain backstories may fit classes better. Well, I wish you would have told me that before we built our first building. Uh, don't worry about training them wrong. You can always just recruit another. Okay. Fallen tree has destroyed parts of the road in town. Can you help? Let, I can pay the farm hands. Sure thing. Throw rocks at the tree until it breaks. Sure. What happens if I do this? Oh, wow. It opens up a, an actually absurd amount of, uh, of options for stuff to do. Okay. There's nobody to train. We did build this, so we can do that. They're slowly becoming an archer. Do we have the equipment? So we're missing Glod to build. We're missing Glod if we want to. Oh, hello. If we wanted to um, build that as well. So there's a quest up here. Quest down here. What is this? Adventures Guild. You probably you'd probably be able to recruit adventures from here, but right now it's empty. Talk to the guild master who's standing outside. So glad you're here. It's time for me to retire, and I need someone to take over the guild. Do you think you have what it takes? Yep. That depends. What does it take? To prove yourself worthy, you'll need to get me three tokens that I've sneakily placed in three dungeons close by. Of course you did. The shadow created by light from magical lantern, the curious hole, the spark from a lightning mage's lightning, and finally, the smell of fermented slime. Okay. In three nearby. Also, what's this? Oh, that's it's a trash can, so we can throw away heroes, basically. Um, I uh, this game is really good. This game is very good. Hello, how are you? Oh no, zombies! An ambush! Oh, face. Okay. Away we shall go. Charge, ignition. Feels like a good idea. We don't need to get this. On the first zone. Move away up to random strength. After standard move. Alright, here we go. I was hoping we could, you know, like, get a bunch of people to show up, but we could just still go for the one charge and then into it. Oh, my God. He's much tankier than I anticipated. I have done a bad. I don't know why I, would, why I did that there. Okay, so this is, this, is, this is a problem. Oh, my God. I thought that we would have more energy. We'd be a little bit more equipped. Face damage nine. Go for the lucky. Big, big hit there. Uh, we are going to move away. But yeah, I guess that doesn't really help us, does it? Cleave. On base attacks, on kill stacks, plus five damage. On kill, strike a nearby enemy. Come on, banking. I'm banking on a big in there. Okay, so we, we're going to we're gonna just squeak by here. All right, round strike. Oh God, we're actually not gonna. We're actually dead. Sweet release, adventure bump. Cause of death became a vital part of the red and zombie cake boss destiny. Who has a pimples diet in the ambush? Totally valid. Famous place for having fun. Character backstory: famous for having quote unquote fun zero times in outer space. Was banished by exclusive. Cloned elves to hell. Smiles creepily when using bananas. Oh my God. Okay, I'm excited to actually see... Like, I should not have rushed in, obviously. I thought that... <laughs> I was like, oh, there's this many enemies? They probably die in one hit. No, they actually have some of the most health that any of the enemies we fought hit. Like, that's completely my bad. <laughs> Adventure Bob is nearly slain, but within the ambush. They have been wounded, giving them a backstory. Broken leg. Ah. Ah. That actually... I'm actually happy... I'm actually happy we died in a weird way. 
to see the penalty. So it's not like it's not perma death, but I was like, why would we want to retire heroes? And it seems like I guess if they would get too many of these, that would really be a problem. Jump costs two more. Like this taking up a draw is a really big problem. Trained backstories. Remove a backstory card to balance the deck. Ah. So now we have to remove something that is good, too. I, that might just be, like, if we would have gotten anything. Let's remove... I feel like move away after round striking, though, ironically, that would have been exactly perfect to save us there. Wounds are automatically selected when they appear among your backstories for each room. I see. Oh, wait, no, that's not the card draw. That's the uh, that's the top draw. It's still, still really bad. The hospital is able to hear you for a marginal price, and you'll get a cool scar to show off as well. <laughs> if you haven't found the hospital yet, you will soon. Fair. Fair, fair, fair. Oh, I beefed it. Okay, so they learned killing blow. We'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Is this the hospital? It is. What does it cost? Nine, nine glod. Okay, that's not actually that bad. That's not that bad. Let's go get vengeance. Um, let's go get vengeance. <laughs> I feel bad. We can do it. Even with a broken leg. Though, I guess it will just become, like, tougher and tougher. You know, it's kind of like a... It's a Darkest Dungeon style. Uh, it's, like, it, it's rough. It's rough. You know, it, it, not like the full permadeath, but like you get the, um, slowly but surely you get problems with just how they act. Like, <laughs> I guess is probably the way to look at it. Uh, or, or, or they're just natural strength goes down, uh, until you actually have to sit them out for a little while. But like, if you get too many of them, then you could have a situation where it theoretically could become very hard to pull yourself out of that hole. Well, I guess we'll let them come to me. On move attack, generate two armor. Well, I don't think we can go over 10. Okay, I'm going to do this to try and regenerate. On base kill, on kill. Okay, so if we get a kill here, we will attack somebody else for free. This is actually just a very rough room, actually. Move attack, we would gain armor. Mm. Not great. This is actually, no, this is actually just a very tough, very, very tough room, actually. Strike. Uh... Okay. Still not quite gonna die. We can move and strike, but we will get attacked by both of those. We can't do this to back up or anything. We could jump. I guess we could jump. We'll only get attacked by one, and then we can maybe get a better situation. Will we attack? No. Interesting. Because, yeah, the, the this is not going to kill. Like, we might, with, with when we can kill with Cleave, it, we might as well. Bash. Okay. Now we round strike. Good. We did, we actually did do 11 there. Can we charge through? We cannot. We can wait and then charge. So yeah, like I, I'm happy to see that we genuinely do seem to need to be a little more tactical than I thought we would have to be, which is great. I'm really, really pleased to see that because it's super easy for these games to turn out to be like super, super easy. It's so easy for them to be easy, you know?
So to, to actually be faced with a fight where I could not just rush into battle immediately and be totally okay, I was not used to that. I'm not used to that. I play so many roguelikes. Most are just baby baby mode immediately, you know? Like, they, they want to let... They don't want it to, to be too spooky. We actually didn't get any glad, I guess. Can I click this guy? No. Curious hole. We do need to go here to get our stuff. Let's do it. Medium level two. Though I'm a little spooked by it, let's do it regardless. We'll give it a go. On pick, gain two energy. Let's try that out. Moving away, I, I'm certainly seeing the value in moving away after round striking. Okay. What would happen if I wait? I would gain two energy. Will they line up? They will line up. We have cleave. Let's do it. Get lucky? Ah. Uh, it's hoping for the lucky strike there. Mm-hmm. How to handle. We have the, the chakram. I mean, we've just a free kill there, I guess. Round strike. If we move an attack, we get the armor back. We, we actually just do the straight up attack. We can get a maybe a double kill. Ah, we do we do not get to pick the target of that second strike there. So, ouch! I don't need armor anyway. I agree. Twelve and one. You know what? Let's try this out. Strike. Take a, take a step back. We still get. Ah, yeah, we do still have to get hit by them. Still, that was actually a lot easier than the other one though. Regardless. But I, I also don't know if we are done. Let's take a health upgrade. Gain five energy on turn end. I actually like that quite a bit. On charge you, stun everyone you charge through. Repost lets you take an extra step back. Charge returns energy cost this turn. Oh. Hmm. The chakram bounces two additional times stacks. Kind of like the idea of getting the refunded energy. Oh, okay. No, it's this one was a deeper dungeon. That's why that fight was easier. We have to deal with the repercussions of how poorly we did there. On pick, restore armor. I really like the, yeah, the balance of that. It's so interesting. Like, actually, getting those cards where sometimes they, it's just like a temporary effect or... I really, 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 really like this. Uh, I'm, if I seem quieter than normal, it's just because of how in, absolutely entranced I am by how clever a lot of these things are. Turn end, gain five energy. We might as well Chakram then. Good stuff. Oh my god. Come here. I don't think there's any penalty to taking a long time. I also realize we have a minor healing potion. I think we've had it the entire time. So we could like chakram there. Neat little bounce there. So if if we did this, we would move right back there. That's kind of ooh. Neat. does not cost very much either. Like, th this, uh... I think that going for energy regeneration is the way to go. We can move and we can get armor back. Yeah. Still get struck once, but now we can get the round strike for the kill. And I would imagine that the archer just has completely different base moves. Hmm. 
Heal, heal. Violence actually might be good to take now, now that we know that we have more places to go. And round strikes, especially since we know that we are going to be... Hopefully, at least hopefully, striking multiple enemies. When can they attack me? I don't know. Okay, so this should be us hitting two enemies. We should have upped our damage. So much. Back it up. Nine. We st it's still too much. Back it up. My armor is gone. We have resolve. We'll just do a move and attack. Good stuff. Is there a way to tell how much we've damage we've gotten from that? If more than one enemy takes damage this turn, add point, point 0.1 damage. So maybe we like can't even notice an effect until we do it five times or six times and it like rounds up, you know? I did it dumb. Can you strike me from melee range? Ah, he cannot. Oh, wow. Oh, you poor thing. Oh, you absolute poor thing. <laughs> Unavoidable killing. What the hell? A door. Okay. Well, first of all, a healer lives here. Let's go there first. So this is like our full-on dungeon experience. Bash door, enters room immediately, range, raises the dungeon difficulty. We have a key. Use the lockpick. 30% 30, 30 I can only imagine. Chance to destroy the lockpick. Unlock the door by picking the lock. I guess maybe not. Well, the key is probably behind it, right? Oh, boy. I took damage. Oh, so we have to pick that. We literally have to. I'll take the armor, and then you know, let's just take the straight-up damage. I think that's going to be the way to go. I might want to... Can I jump the fence? I can't jump the fence? I can't jump the fence. Oh, no. A spark must be lit. You little goblin, man. Chakram. 14. Do we do 14? Theoretically, we do 15. Yes. And it had, like, the overkill, I guess, is what that was there. I'm assuming you can only shoot straight. That does seem to be the case. Otherwise, I don't know why you would be moving so much. I kind of want them to... There we go. Now... Because if they're on the tile, on the final tile, before landing there. I want him to move one space. Does he know? Is he a freaking genius? I think he knows. He knows that he <laughs> doesn't want to be on that tile, doesn't he? He, uh, okay. Works for me. This guy does not. This guy is not nearly as smart in that way. Goodbye. So we broke it so we can bash it. What does that do for this? It a Okay, it actually gives us an ambush. Mm -hmm. Okay. You got Chakram. Can hit that guy. I think the Shockroom is something I need to be making sure I utilize more. You can't throw from a diagonal, can you? Okay, 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 okay. I can't... I cannot hit him. I don't know. I guess it's maybe because this is in the way. We could do this, I guess. Come to me, fire! Oh, killing a ranged unit with a ranged attack. There's so many options that you can do at any given moment. I know that this is not the optimal way to do it, but it just it, it felt fun. I just wanted to shotgun them to death. What's so wrong with that? 
All right. Desperation, agility, battery. All right. Let's go with... See which, oh, see each individual gem to find them? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Okay. Every 15 energy you have, do one physical damage. Each level of Vibrant decreases the energy required by five. I don't know. See, comparing that to this, because, like, why why not, right? At a certain point, you get th these three inspirations guaranteed. Heal one health. If you lose health, add two damage for one turn. I do kind of like that, too. Let's go for that, actually. Just to, every once in a while, we get more damage. But I guess, theoretically, only if we plan things out well. Can we fight the boss now? No, it's locked. It's locked. Well, I hate to, to leave it hanging here, but I do actually have to head on out, and that is going to have to do it here. Uh, I really, really, really like this. I think it is very clever. There's so many systems that I bet you that I... I I'm sure that there's a lot that I haven't gotten to, but I also, for how complex... It is. I feel like I actually do get the gist of what there's going to be there for me. Uh, I'd be very curious and excited to see what the other classes do, uh, what it what it can look like as you grow your your characters up even higher. Uh, so if that is something that you would like to see, if this is like if this is your jam, if you want to see more of this, I I think this game is fantastic. There'll be obviously a link at the top of the description if you want to pick it up for yourself. But alas, that is that. And that is going to do it here for today. If you are into roguelikes, if you like that genre, I think I'm a worthy subscription. I, I, I hope I can provide you with some decent value. I can show you so many roguelikes, you'll be like, hey, thanks. My wallet hates you, but thanks. <laughs> That's going to do it, though. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.